And boom, there you have it. Five-star cornerback John Lee commits to the Alabama Crimson Tide. Why I believe it's an important get and why I believe more five stars is on the way. But first things first, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We'll be pushing out great content and more great content is on the way. Appreciate all you guys' support. But let's get into the video. The six foot four, one ninety five star cornerback John Lee out of California. It's a major get for Alabama. The kid is smooth, can cover, can hit, and awesome in run support. I believe this was such a major pickup for uh, Kellen DeBoer because it's his first true five star. I believe a lot of the other guys are going to be a uh, five star down the road, but getting that five star cornerback guy that I believe is going to be a superstar for the Alabama Crimson Tide, just put the uh, college football world on notice. Like the dynasty is not over. It's only going to continue. This kid is going to cause a lot of problems for a lot of uh, wide receivers in college football. Only going to, with some uh, coaching, some great coaching, he's going to uh, tune up uh, things he needs to work on, and he's only going to get better, especially to a position that we, I believe, is at our weakest, only because of Nick Saban's retirement with a lot of guys out the secondary leaving and the guys that's coming in are young. But don't fool yourself. These guys are very talented. Only problem I have with them right now is they're young and they don't have experience, but they're going to get a lot of experience. They still have guys back there that can uh, help them out, like Malachi Moore and Damani Jackson, uh, who already been in college and can teach those guys the rope. And they can only get better by uh, getting a lot of reps in. But Dijon is only going to uh, – uh, be a bigger piece for those guys when he come in there because he's this long range corner that can cover your number one receiver. The reason why Alabama is going to continue to be Alabama is because of Kellen DeBoer, and Courtney Morgan, and having guys under them like a Russell Shepard, a Robert Gillespie, a Freddie Roach, these guys are awesome recruiters, and you can tell by the guys that meet them, they look up to these men. That's why a lot of guys are projected to come to the University of Alabama, like Caleb Cunningham, five-star wide receiver out of Mississippi, Ty Hayward, grew up a, a big Alabama fan. Then we have our quarterback in place in Keelan Russell, who I believe has the biggest upside in this class and should be a five-star quarterback in the coming days or weeks. But I'm not being biased because I'm an Alabama fan. Just listen to all the experts. They believe he has the biggest ceiling. But the future is bright in Alabama. I'm just praying uh, Dijon just come in and just be ready to work. Uh, earn his spot because I believe once he earn it, he's not giving it up. I believe he's a uh, Pat Sertan type superstar cornerback. It, like it's a no brainer. And so if we can bring in another five star like him in this class, y'all know who I'm talking about. Hopefully they can uh, be the college version of the no fly zone because we already have other guys in place, but those two will complete that. But Dijon Lee is a kid that everybody needs to watch out for. I believe he's going to be awesome at Alabama. I I, I don't expect no mediocre, mediocre player out of him. I don't expect him to be that. I expect him to be great. And I'm going to continue to have that expectation for him. Future Jim Thorpe Award winner, first team All American. That's type of expectations I have out of this young man because I believe he's that great. But only time will tell. 
let's just celebrate them right now and appreciate everybody uh supporting the channel we're going to have more great content coming out just be on the lookout we're going to announce other five stars so be on the lookout peace